Hi, my name is Penny Burke, welcome to Essence. Now, in our business at Essence, we have a really clear philosophy about what we believe in when it comes to marketing communications and in fact, any form of consultation or engagement with a target audience. Isn't it a funny thing that in this day where we're being told that we are so connected, that we have Facebook and Twitter and the whole range of social medias and opportunities to tweet, that in some ways we're really not very connected at all. And we find more and more often in this complex marketing world, if you want someone to do something differently tomorrow than they did yesterday, trying to connect and engage with them is absolutely critical. And yet from a marketing point of view, if we don't learn how to do it properly, then we will forever fail. So at Essence, we believe that real marketing and branding and communication is all about gaining greater commitment. If you want someone to do something differently tomorrow than they did yesterday, it is about engaging them, motivating them and inspiring them to do that. So whether the issue be asking them to use less water, whether it be choosing this brand of yogurt over another brand of yogurt, or whether it be to come and work at this organisation versus another organisation in the middle of a skills shortage, communication and marketing is all about building greater commitment. So at Essence, we've developed a commitment model that reflects a bit of a continuum of how people often feel. So let's have a look at it. You can see that as we move through the five stages, how people feel and how people respond is the absolute core of the commitment model. At the first step, what is it I do? At the second step, what is it I think? At the third level, why is it I think that? At the fourth level, what is it that might make me think differently? And finally, what am I going to do next? So the whole range of tools and processes that we employ here at Essence, whether it be in the sense of research, be it focus groups or depth interviews or any manner of ethnographic work, whether it be in our strategy development in terms of trying to write a strategic or communications plan for our clients, or finally, whether it be in the growing area of stakeholder engagement and consultation, all of those things are embedded in that commitment model. How do we get people to change the way they perceive, feel, behave, and how will we get them to do something different tomorrow? That is where we find the Essence Commitment Model so useful in our business. We hope it helps you as well. Thanks for listening and see you again.